Hello everybody, it's I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh, this is day two of Turnabout Samurai. Uh, main goal here is to fuck with that old bag there. Because, honestly, she was kind of pissing me off. She wouldn't stop yapping. And she was, she was rather rude to us. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very, very well. Very well. Mr. Ranchworth, your opening statement, please. The, the prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, defendant Mr. Will Powers killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Mm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to, to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call his first witness. Very well. I call a most a most fam familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Yeah, Gumshoe! Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. yes, sir. I'll explain with the with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to, to grasp the layout of the studios. See, this here is the employee area. The actor did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. Let me see another step ladder. This is the main gate to the studios. The, the security lady works works at the studio here was here at one o'clock p.m. that on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate. See. Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there was there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Bowers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area till noon. Oh, man, I'm starting to lose my, uh, gumshoe voice. Then, af then after lunch, the victim, uh, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the scary lady got the got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 o'clock p.m. The production staff came to the studio one to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear was found lodged in the victim's chest and was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to that whole thing again? Now nah, we can skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So, so the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer uh, to the stand. There's the bitch. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> your, your name, please. Oh, dearie, you no need for, for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. <laughs> your, your name, please. Bloody hell. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy old bag, dearie. So just call me grandma. It's up, 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 and there, and there she goes. Objection! Uh, objection! I object to the witness talkativeness. Uh, objection of saying. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, say I was. And to get to the scene of the or to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Old bag to old hag. Let's let's give her a taste of her medicine. Get it? Get it? Because she's old? 
On the day of that murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock. Poor old Hammer and the rest had had been doing a run-through since there since since the morning. I, well, had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from, from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by me at 2 o'clock. It was Powers, that man right there. And he was heading down to the studio. You saw the defendant, then. Hmm. Very well. Let's begin with the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Alrighty. Um... Honestly, just looking through her testimony... Just making sure we're still recording here. Uh, I think... We don't even, I don't think we need to press on anything. I think we just have to present the photo. Uh, we're gonna press a, Oops, shit, didn't mean to press. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's, that's what I said. Got a waxing ear, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. There we go, I meant to press that. The photo. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, miss, old bag. You, you've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Parrish, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a, just, just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss old bag, is this the Mr. Parrish that you saw? Of course, didn't you? Didn't, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Paris, right? No, 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 they can't. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Eh? I, I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one in this court is accusing you of that, Mr. Uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh. No. No, the old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even, Ed even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness. Please make, make known... Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How's I how's I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't it. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even the address speechless. She's good. What let's hear about your proof then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at this picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. That's, that's how I knew Power. it was Powers. Happy? Hmm, so yeah, sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross Sammy the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her... I'll press her toes, she squeals. Let's see. Uh, no. No information there. Some powers trip and fall. Broke one of the pops and it was a big mess. Let's press on this. He broke a prop. He sure did. His own samurai spear. Samurai spear is a murder weapon. Luckily, I was there to, with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court records. Oh, yep, there's a duct tape there. Let's see. Uh. Let's press on this. 
trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the seal samurai. What a laugh. Some par some star some power spring is angle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. L let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up the backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's Angle. Hmm. You may continue your, t your testimony. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here? I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there, there is one thing that's bothering me, which is, where is this Steel Samurai cost costume now? Um, hmm, actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyways, that's not important. The witness did see the, sam the Steel Samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure, Your Honor? I'm gonna object. Put it right there. We keep talking. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that the photo shows the Seal Samurai. Now, where this photo photo can can we see Mr. Will Powers? Hmm. The 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 defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove the, that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice! The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30pm, true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No, no one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have been the Steel Samurai who... It would have, would have been the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna try something really stupid. Objection! Well, music stopped, so I think I was. So I, so, so I think I did something. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gates for the studios, correct? Yes, sire, Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it, all, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, anyways, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number 2. Even, even I know that means it was taken at 2 o'clock on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue he here is the bit at the end where it says, Photo number two. F photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order, order. Restore the core, what do you mean by this, Mr. Ray? Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other person? Or for the other photo? Only someone with access to only someone with access to the security lady herself. Eh? You watch your mouth you watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that, that's what it would seem to mean. Trying to witness explain this to the court. Um, ahem, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, itchy bullet. No, uh, no, I'm, I'm cutting her off there. But believe me, I want to, but I don't know 
what this means either. Huh. Some help you, I. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? So something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gates? Someone other than Steel Samurai? Er, well, I I suppose you could put it that way. Your testimony, please. Alrighty then. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos and record on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't sus sus what? suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss, Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny, I, I only just remembered it. Right. Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. <clears throat> well, well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Oh, that felt good. Not sure if you heard mine that crack on the, on the mic there. Uh, the only thing we should really press here is this fourth one. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? <laughs> a fanboy. A fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you... Steel... <clears throat> Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsal from... Gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. But wait a second. Didn't you say no one else could get in? I... I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain. I told you they were freaks. Oh, and and they're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids, so on the photo you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. Uh, what? Uh, order, order. Never get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the seal samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in a in about second or third grade. Oh, oh, yes. Well, see, his type... We see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not po impossible for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible. I, I think it's quite heavy. Right. As I said, it, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the day friends and prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. October 18th, 1108. Yep. Mr. Powers. Y yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? Didn't go to the studio. I, di I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really? What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want the Steel, Sam Steel Samurai costume. So where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only... You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we going to do? First, we have to play for more time. We'll start by targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose We might lose on the spot. You don't sound very op optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. 
Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't decide like that. God. Will Powers is such a sweetheart, man. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10, 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Or, interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not like kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, right, as if stakes, the stakes were high enough. So who is this person that, other than Mr. Powers that could have committed a murder? The security lady. It was, it was the security lady. Why the old bag? What? Who? Oh. The two samurai striking his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's... That means whoever was in that suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There's only one other person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. What? What? Whippersnapper! Order! Order! Is this true, old bag? Old bag! That's miss! That's miss! That's miss! Old bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she had no she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Well, why we why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I, I, I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes 2, baby. That's odd. Isn't that the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an ejection or some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? <clears throat> the prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? 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 What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something! What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this, uh, the whole way. Uh, f fucker. Press further. Wah. The very same reason that, that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something? So horrible to poor Hammer. You forget, you forget that Mr. Powers lacked a clear motive. Oh, sorry, this is Phoenix. You forget that Mr. Powers lacked a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed, that did it. Now, when, now when Bag is one of the suspects, no hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. <clears throat> He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds. Tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can be so sure? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders, day, whippersnapper? I have proof. But proof? Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Alrighty then. Uh, probably the card key. Because yeah, old bag is trying to pin the blame on the boy. However, however, the boy can't cannot get into Studio One without a card key. So it would make sense that old bag can get in there because she has her own uh, card key because she's security. I think this is it. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. 
However, you need a car key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a car key? I see. Wow, was a witness scared to com comment on this? Oof. The windbag, speechless. This has this has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for the, for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court. This court is adjourned. Oh boy, lucky Edge, lucky Edgeworth. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. <laughs> oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. It's all right. What's this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told to not talk about. N not talk about? <coughs> oh, God, that's not bad. I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to go get some water. All right, I'm back. I got some water. Oh, man, that feels... That feels a lot better. Whew. By whom? Or by whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't... Ed huh, you mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, well testify. Ah, oh boy, more testimony from this... From this old fart. Jumbo Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Mr. Oldbrag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Mm, ain't, ain't you ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. White, your cross-examination. Hey, ready then. Uh, mm, let's press this. So you were told to not talk. That's right. That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Or did not hear about this. Don't, don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We're all in on it. Already, uh, tell me more about these people. Who, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer. Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised. No one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in, in the Studio 2 trailer. S Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate all the way to your left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I can already ask all my questions, but... I think we've done enough. Your Honor, we have learned that there were other others at Global Studios on the day in, in question. The director and the producer and there are some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is, it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant Defendant Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the, the, the French's point. 
the prosecution will gather more information about the witness old, this old bag and more information about these other people we have just been told off. I, I understand, Your Honor. This ends today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. October 18th, 1.04 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Th th thank, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to... to I was right to ask, ask you to defend me. Aw, it really is nothing. Oh, or should I? We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We'll have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for uh, for certain. So, so now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So Nick, have we figured out who it was in the steel in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you what do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any uh, any points in there. With or without my accusation. Okay, let's just get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Th thank th thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and with that, to be continued. So, if you guys enjoyed the, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing as it'll help my channel grow. If you like, if you like the content I, I do, also subscribe. Uh, if you're liking the series so far, be sure to leave a comment, maybe like the video, uh, so we can push this video on YouTube's algorithm because we all know how crappy it is. And with that being said. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be doing some more investigating. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then, buh-buh.